good morning now look what we woke up to oh my word this is glorious and i do remember the first time when i came to this country and i saw snow oh i just burst into tears because it just warmed my heart although it was cold but it was the first time i was seeing snow and that was 2003 and now 2021 woke up to a snow morning Hope you're good. Well, what shall we do today on this snowy day? Mm. Well, one of the things we were talking about recently is trying to develop a recipe for um, sorrel. So we're going to use sorrel is something that we used in Jamaica for a drink at Christmas time. It's a nice festive drink. We're going to try and develop that recipe and we'll let you see. In the meantime, however, why don't you take some time now to subscribe to our channel? Go ahead. You know you want to just click that subscribe button so that you're in. Good. In case I didn't make that clear enough, I'm not trying to develop a sorrel drink. That is a well-established drink in Jamaica. I'm trying to develop a recipe for sorrel cake. So these are the ingredients. That there in that light green uh, measuring jug is sorrel. That's dried sorrel. And these are mixed fruits, dried fruits, raisins and sultanas. And then I will also need to use some oil. So we're developing the recipe at this point. And these are the things we think we'll need. We're going to try two eggs. I mean, if it doesn't turn out right, then we'll adapt the recipe. That's how we do it. We're going to use white sugar. But we'll definitely let you know how it turns out. We're going to be using self-raising flour. I'll write the, the recipe down below. We're going to be using um, mixed spice, bicarbonate of soda, ginger. And we're also going to put some red food coloring in. And a little bit of baking powder. Usually when you make a, drink, a cake with oil, you need some baking powder or soda and then vanilla, of course. So these are the ingredients and we're going to see how it turns out. In addition, we're using a bun tin to bake the cake in and also a Nutribullet. And the purpose of the Nutribullet is to blend the, the sorrel together. So it's, it's hard and dehydrated. So what we have to do is to put um, soak it in water, hot water overnight, and that will soften it. And then in the morning, we'll blend it with, along with the fruits.
and this is the finished cake it has the look of like um red velvet or a deep chocolate cake that's the look it has it looks yummy it looks the part it looks red because sorrel is has a deep red rich color so it does look the part so now i suppose we must put it to the taste test <laughs> I know I've said before what type of cake it looks like to me, but I'd like to hear from you in the comments. Tell me just by the look of it what cake it looks like. Go ahead. No, I'm honored to have the first slice of sorrel cake. Never I'm ever you. made it, never ever tasted it, or own recipe. Never. <laughs> what do you think of the look, first of all? Looks the part because sorry is a bright red yeah mm. what do you it's think really nice honestly really nice just what flavor just it's a bit tart Ooh. but sorrel is tart yeah so maybe we should have added sort of something tangy. yeah something to counteract it a bit is it sweet just enough a bit. it's sweet enough but it could do with a little bit more okay so that it counteracts the tart, tart taste. taste okay and I and was I thinking think, of adding some lemon juice, so it's a lucky thing I didn't. No, that would be too tart. Okay. The, the um, top of it is a bit hard as well, so I think it would be a good idea oh, to have a glaze. glaze. Okay. Have a glaze on top. Next time I'll add definitely. add to the color and the sheen as well. Yeah, I'll definitely put a glaze on next time. Which is really nice. Mm, well thumbs done. up, thank you. You know... Thank you so much for watching this week's video. See you next week. Bye.